taken over. Mm. Oh, so they it haven't been it's cleaned encroached. the way we used to do it. We uh -huh. used to clean them every year, mm. so that we have much more open space. That makes sense. And just a little area, but. Uh, so one of these days we'll get in there. We'll yeah, we used to have parties, mm. pond party we call them, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have. Uh, seven or eight friends come uh -huh. by and help us pull the weeds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, sounds nice. It used to be uh, one section was filled with lotuses, and uh, they were beautiful. But some kind of disease, I think, we had mm -hmm. cleaned up, done a really heavy cleaning. Mm -hmm. Pulled up a lot of the uh, lotuses. Mm -hmm. By mistake, I think some of the. Well, no, part of it too was the lotuses were taking over, like the hyacinths. I don't remember that. And we had to cut, pull them back so they weren't so aggressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, they never came back. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer. <laughs> but I think that it was so complete and the lotuses had been so hardy before and expanding their area that I thought there would be no problem. Mm. And, uh, but they all died. Mm. And I think it, was, it might have been a disease because the city of Los Angeles had a beautiful big lotus pond in Echo Park. Echo oh, Lake, yeah. right? Right, it's a lake and it's a section of the lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Concreted off. Yeah. And, uh, that's where they had the lotuses set in there. And they all died at hmm. the same time. Wow. Well, yeah. So I kind of think there was something. It's like something in the air or something. Something in the air. Yeah. That's yeah. totally possible. Yeah. I, I don't know how recently you've been to Echo Lake, but it seems still seems to be quite it's bad. pretty. It's bad yeah. now. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. Interesting. Hmm. Did you always want to be an architect? No. I wanted to be an architect when I was about 15. <laughs> okay. And That's pretty I early. visited my grandfather's office and farm in Wisconsin in the summertime. Uh -huh. And uh, I just, even though my father is also an extremely talented architect, uh, being at uh, Taliesin with my grandfather. There was a lot of young people my age being studying with him as apprentices. Mm. And so it was a very exciting area to be working in. Yeah. So I went to work with my grandfather for about eight years. And uh, as, uh, I was out of high school and went to work for him. And the family has never believed in academic <laughs> uh, like degrees and things. Particularly they even... They wanted to learn by doing. That's uh, the old John Dewey yeah. method of education. I, I think it's better. <laughs> I'm, I'm certain <laughs> it's better, for sure. Well, I feel it is. Yeah. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. And actually, we... Had, uh, did our own way of life. We did our own cooking, and uh, we did all the construction. The, built the drafting room in the hillside, which uh, was the beginning of the school in Wisconsin, hmm. and did all the work out in uh, Scottsdale, Taliesin West. All of that was built by the apprentices. There was no professional help on it. And so, so you had a way of life in which you worked in construction or you worked on the drafting board. We actually drew the drawings and um, you would, uh, there'd be what they call a senior apprentice. Uh, there were five or six members who were been there for 20 or 30 years and uh, they helped run the office and we would have uh, groups of 
three or four working on a house re residence or if it was the museum, there could be 10 or 12 people working on it, depending. And um, so you were getting that experience firsthand. Mm -hmm. And so with residences, you would go all the way from starting the schematics and you would do preliminary drawings, and then you do the working documents. And then you go out and supervise construction for the architect, architectural supervision. Hmm. So you had a complete training. Yeah, mm -hmm. the whole thing. And the whole thing. That's great. And uh, you do one or two of those, and you <laughs> knew your trade pretty yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Was there anything notable that you worked on? I mean, I'm sure a lot, but... Well, I did a little work on... Guggenheim Museum. Okay. Some of the working drawings. Uh, this is all before computers. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, you see. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, there was the Walker House in uh, Carmel, the Tonkins House in uh, Was the Walker Ohio. House the one that's out on the... On the point. The water. Not a point, but it's a... The water is splashing up. And, and the water comes the right up against the house, especially at uh, mm -hmm. uh, high tide. Mm -hmm. and What's going to happen house. with the rising sea, do you think, to the Walker House? The what? The rising level of the Ocean. sea. How is that affecting? going to, going to affect? Do you I don't think it's going to affect it too much. Uh, it's fine. The, the stone wall that's built there is about 12 feet high out in Prow that goes out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. I think. And in the, the rise of the ocean <clears throat> at its fastest, which it seems to be doing now, they estimate about three feet. Mm. Yeah. Three yeah. feet up. Now that does affect heavily areas like Florida yeah. and the Gulf and uh, here it affects a little bit the LA Harbor mm -hmm. but it's not like it is in the, in the Gulf mm. yeah. area yeah, I think our, our house is in Tampa and it's on a hill that's a little bit above sea level so Tampa. we'll be fine <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course the it's like uh, it, it's not. It's barely worth a hundred thousand that house. So you know, I mean, it's it's a thirteen hundred square foot you know starter home from the seventies, and yeah. my mom's lived there over since my brother was born, thirty five years. Yeah. So, but well, that's that's very interesting. Does your your son do architecture as well or no? No. The dynasty He's stopped, in, huh? Yeah, dynasty. Although he does. <laughs> He's a landscape contractor. Okay. All right, yeah. When he was seven, in Topanga Elementary, the teacher for open house and the parents coming had each kid tell her what their secret wish is. Well, just look at right. And so you opened a little paper window and parents came and Devin said, my secret wish is that my baby brother will become an architect, so I'll be freed. <laughs> <laughs> to be a scientist. He <laughs> said, what? We never laid that on him. Right. <gasps> Grandfather, father, oh God. <laughs> I'm out of here. So, uh, <laughs> That's funny. I, I could... I could. So okay. we learned that at seven. That was good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you wanted to do Yeah, that's, that's important. You know, cause, and that's great that... You know, I mean, you... With coming from that pedigree, you know, like I, I, I imagine I, like me, like if I were your son, like I would feel the same thing to some extent. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess even at that young age, he, he, he must have known, you know. But that's that that's good. You guys got that out of the way fast, where it's like it's okay, you know. Want to ride a tractor all the time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My parents, uh, they never forced that on me either. But I defaulted to either you know, programming or architecture or engineering. So either way around, I wasn't, you know, 
gonna go whatever. I don't I don't even know what. Do philosophy, you know, just lay back on the stones and think about things. So <laughs> I do that enough on my own, so and I wouldn't get paid for it. <laughs> Probably not. Who knows? Oh, Very cool. Sounds like a good place to grow up. Yeah, honestly, you know, it's funny. Until you're, once you're like in your mid-teens, before that, it almost, if your life is okay, it's almost like you could grow up anywhere and you wouldn't know the difference, you know, mm -hmm. um, to some extent. I mean, if I'd have been out here, like, I couldn't even, you know, I wouldn't even be able to fathom that, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, mean, I was a 90s kid, like, playing in the street, and, you know, all the lawns were green, there was nothing mm -hmm. to complain about, and mm -hmm. but once I got to, like, 16, I still didn't have anything to complain about, but I, um, I guess I, I traveled a lot more, and I was like, you know... That's right. You saw a lot. Yeah, and I'm just like, man, like Florida, <laughs> it's it's nice, but like I had had enough of it. So, especially once I came out here, I was just like, what? Like, there's there aren't many better places than than this, really. Like in the in the country year round, it's just, I mean, it's got everything. So, including a lot of traffic. Yeah, <laughs> you know. You guys crazy? Yeah, no, it, the traffic wasn't that bad. We had we had no traffic at all actually on the way this morning. Yeah, it took it, it. It would have taken about forty-five minutes to get here all the way from San Fernando, like pretty, pretty fast. See, today it's is Sunday. Isn't it? Saturday. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's it was hard. early enough though. Okay. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Is. Yeah. But no, and not the crowd. Thankfully, my commute is north in the morning and south in the evening, so it's twenty minutes up and thirty down, more or less. Yeah. Um, which it was. I actually moved there because originally I was doing show set design for theme parks. So a lot more of the, the front side with all the theming. Um, but that job just lasted a year, but it was a five-minute commute there and back. And, and people were like, you have a five-minute commute in L.A.? You know? It's like, well, I'm on the edge of L.A., but... And now I'm way out there, you know, by Magic Mountain, so... Magic Mountain. Yeah. I used to go there when our elder son, Devin, the pond, Devin. Mm-hmm. Was growing up, that was the big. What do you want to do for your birthday? Oh, I want to magic. That's funny. <laughs> Everything is magic. <laughs> I haven't been there for many decades. They probably have a, a quite. A, uh, they like they had way fewer roller coasters back then, no doubt. I'm sure. <laughs> did you guys ever ride them? I never did. Did you, Eric? Oh yeah. You did. <laughs> That's right. I had to did. take the boys. That's funny. I wanted to go to Magic Mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was always a little scared. Yeah, my mom has a herniated disc that she's just never really gotten fixed because it's manageable enough so that she doesn't have to do surgery. She just does chiropractic. And so she would never ride, but she'd always be there, you know, taking us and like, okay, go ride. And you know, when I went with my dad, of course, he's the... Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm getting too old for this stuff, you know, like riding the wooden coasters and they're like just <laughs> destroying you, you know. Honestly, they hurt me and I was like 15, so couldn't imagine how he how he felt, but oh wow, the ants really go to town on these things. Oh, already, huh? Yeah, they mm -hmm. found the lid. Thankfully, they didn't find the drink. Good heavens. <laughs> yeah, this has been ant heaven. Yeah. For the last few weeks. Yeah, we, we had them in droves all over our place. So. Yeah, this warm weather will be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't believe today. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of course, all yeah, this, this cool cloud pouring through. It was really neat to see. I mean, I'm sure you guys are used to it, but just to watch it, you know, roll over so fast. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't know. That, that I don't feel like that would get old, seeing that sight. It's pretty cool. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Very neat. Interesting. So I don't know if it interests you to I'll give you a little piece of paper with the Events on the land. Uh huh. Okay. I, I, yeah. Of course, certainly. If you want to experience a Native American sweat lodge, we have sweat lodges here. I'm I'm not even familiar with that, but it sounds very interesting. Okay. I mean, I sweat all the time in my car, so I'll, pro I'll probably do. You've a, got your own sweat lodge. I'll do a yeah. great job in there. <laughs> yeah. Everyone will be like, ah, oh. like, <laughs> is it hot in here? Like, uh -huh. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll go get it. I don't suppose would it be too much to ask to see a little of your art? Is that possible, or oh, if I'll it's? I'll bring out a little. Yeah. Or you can cut. I've got a few things in here too. Okay. Thanks. And I... You're welcome to walk into that messy oh, okay. place. Mm -hmm. 
You'll see things every night. Yeah. It reminds me of my bedroom, so don't worry. Oh, all right. <laughs> see, you have the same li lifestyle. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Do you ever befriend one of the ground squirrels? What? Did you ever befriend one of the ground squirrels? Are they ever like? But did you bef befriend a ground squirrel? Like, uh, like did you oh, ever befriend the ground yeah, squirrel? Yeah. Oh yeah, but they're a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you they live with are them. A nuisance. They eat part of the couch. <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing. My friend, he had wicker bass, wicker chairs, and he's like, and they just eat the wicker. It's like, oh really? They don't have like, are there actually nutrients in couches and wicker chairs? I mean, like. You know, or maybe they're just bored squirrels. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Nothing else to do. It can be very distracting. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. And they're very bold. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Cloud is just like misty. That's right. We were actually up in that cloud. Mm. Yeah, for sure. When you start seeing that. Did you Jack's make us asleep? So I guess we won't go in there. Anyway, I was just oh wow making some cards. Beautiful wow. images for cards. This one's gonna. Emerson said, "I love the quote. Some people are so much sunshine per square inch." <laughs> So that's going to say that across there. That's awesome. Now, really wow. I should have told you before, but you can still do it. There's a little trail that'll take you up into the caves. Oh, this is the one wow. I wanted to see. I'm glad you got it. I saw it through the window there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And little tra it's a little steep, rocky trail that won't be any trouble for you. Uh, I used to leap up and lead people up there, but I don't do that anymore. <laughs> But there's some wonderful caves that look out into That's the, amazing. Wow. Toward the sea. Where is this at? Down there? Yeah, right at the end of the... I'll show you the end. At the end of the pond, uh -huh. when you're facing those rocks, yeah, yeah. you'll see a little possible trail. And yeah, it'll just take you up, up, up. And, you, and you'll take a left at the, <laughs> at the first invitation to go left. And uh -huh. it'll put you around a the back side of that big rock. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, in the, there's a lower cave and then there's a higher cave. You can walk up the side and that's the one that has all the windows wow. in it. Awesome. When did you do this? Oh, uh, a few months ago, I think. Did how, you, did you walk out there? No, actually. Something I never do is <laughs> a friend taking a picture I'd worked for. I, worked for I see. It was that uh, you asked them to, or they came no, to you with the photo, and you're no, like, oh. They said it as a, Wally is a wonderful architect. It was a good a piece of photography. And he always, so I thought, oh, I'm not going to get my body up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Work from. <laughs> now it's like you were there. And it's really great. I used to get up there a lot. My, In my youth. Mm -hmm. My grandmother does watercolor. But it's uh, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> it's not oh, photorealism, but more abstract. it's it's less abstract. Um, it's she does portraits and landscapes and oh. whatnot. So, um, but yeah, she's she's pretty good. I don't have anything of hers to show you though. But <laughs> don't have any photos of it. But actually, there's a um. Oh, I wonder if I can find that. It's an artist that did a plain air painting of uh, the hills in Acton. Um, you know, past uh, Santa Clarita, and and she has this very sort of undulating shapes like this as well. Um, but I don't know that I. I'm wondering. Oh, I don't even have signal. <laughs> but it was a. No, no, I'm sorry. I should have told you. You have to go up to. Did you get up to that little knoll, the medicine wheel, the stone circle? Oh, no. I, I last time I did, but I, I forgot okay. to go up there this time. You, you can get a signal up there. Right, we, we had it down by the yeah, house, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to see if I can find that. But but this reminds me of that just in a more... I mean, that was a natural setting, but it had the, the tracks and the road and the hills, and all of it just looked like it was sort of melted butter or something, like, rolling down. It's really, really neat. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Melted butter. <laughs> 
Is this like some sort of like the cloud and then it's like when it's kind of going away then you can see the blue or yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah, I think the progression just, yeah. maybe? Just impression. I'm just working on images that would go with card sayings that I have in. Uh -huh. mm. That's great. It's really, it's really beautiful. Mm. I like the middle one a lot. I, I need the right words for that one. I haven't gotten them yet. Mm. <laughs> How um how do the how do you even do that <laughs> with yeah. the with the dots and the splatter of sort? Well, is it actually a splatter? You can take a, just a little wooden stick, dip it in the paint, and go dot 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 dot. Uh -huh. You know, that's the dots. Otherwise, you can take a dry brush, meaning paint, but not much water on it, and then you get the. Or you can take a brush that's completely just damp and uh -huh. pull out the paint. You know. Get the whiter. So that's how you the you start at a point and then you get the streak. Yeah. Neat. Very cool. My brother's more the artist. I, I've done some somewhat architectural drawing before, just uh, conceptually. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, he's the one that does all the you know artsy stuff with watercolor. He's you know painting the bedroom for his kids and oh, really? all that. Yeah, big trees and. The starry night and stuff. It's, it's neat. Very cool. Yeah. Art's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you guys. I want you to hang for as long as you like. And if you have time and you want to uh, explore caves. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd love to do that. We have this, uh, this thing. And let's see, 11.30, 12.30, And like two hours and 20 minutes or something. We have over an hour to explore, so. Yeah. Yeah. So if we don't come back in two hours, I'll send <laughs> yep. and Eric up to yeah. somebody's staying in this little uh -huh. cabin there. So it might be better to just walk around the pond mm -hmm. and get to the end of the pond. You look up to the rocks and you'll see the beginning of a, and it'll take you, it's steep, uh -huh. and as I say, after, when you get up toward the top, take the first invitation to go left, and mm -hmm. it'll take you around, mm -hmm. and then you're up, and you'll, you'll see, we're right there. So, you, when you reach the end of the pond, you're actually, you're going up around the side? No. No, you're, you're going down? You're going straight ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. The rocks are here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The road will go up to the right, and you're just going to go straight ahead. Take that. You're going to go through a, some growth. You'll see. Right, that right. The, in the beginning, the first few steps are, are through some bushes. Okay. All right. Well, it'll be an adventure. And if you get lost, as I say, if we don't see you in a while, <laughs> send the search party. We send out folks. The dogs. <laughs> send the dogs. Send the dogs. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot. I'm, I'm sure we'll be seeing you again for something here. No, yeah. I'll get you one too if you'd like. Oh, uh, it's okay. We can share it. Can. Yeah. There's um, coming up at the end, uh, four times a year, two solstice and two equinox. Ooh. Uh, we always do the Saturday nearest the real thing. Uh huh.